in search of the special child. Bouncer the bunny lived in Mr. Walton's pet store ever since he could remember. One day, everything started out the same as every other day, but suddenly it blossomed into a great day. Bouncer was taking a nap when all of a sudden his whiskers twitched and he felt someone watching him. Lazily, he opened just one eye and there, nose to nose and eye to eye with him, was a little child. Why, this child had the most special smile that Bouncer had ever seen. Now, a funny thing started happening to Bouncer. A wiggly feeling came to his tail, and then a giggly feeling came to his feet, and then a jiggly feeling came to his tummy, and when the corners of his mouth started to turn up, his whiskers actually twiggled. Bouncer was smiling all over. The next morning, after Mr. Walton gave Bouncer his breakfast and cleaned his cage, he forgot to shut the door. Quick as a lick, oh, on a lollipop stick, Bouncer bounced to the floor, out the door, and waved his tail goodbye to Mr. Walton's pet store. I just know what I'll do, Bouncer thought to himself. I'm going to find that special child with the most special smile. And off Bouncer went. Soon, Bouncer came to a forest, and there, just in the clearing, sat a bear, cub eating juicy red strawberries. He bounced over to the bear cub and, still smiling from head to toe, said, Hello, I'm Bouncer Bunny. Now, the bear cub had never seen such a smiling, bouncing bunny before. Why, it made him smile just to look at Bouncer. I'm Bibby the bear, he replied. Have a seat right here by me and let me share my berries with you. Bouncer was so hungry, he popped almost all the berries into his mouth at once. When he had finished the berries, Bibby handed him a kerchief from his pocket so Bouncer could shine his whiskers. Do you share everything? Bouncer asked his new friend. Everything I can, answered Bibby. A very special child showed me how warm I feel inside whenever I share. Another special child, exclaimed Bouncer. I'm looking for a special child who always smiles. If you come with me, maybe we can find this special child who always shares too. I'll do it, laughed Bibby. So they stuffed Bibby's pockets with berries, just in case their tummy started to rumble again. To Bibby, it seemed like they had traveled for hours Let's rest by that pond, said Bibby. They were just about to sit down when they heard a strange sound. Honk, honk, came the sound again. And there, right in back of them, was a large white goose in a bright pink sunbonnet. Hi, my name is Gabrielle. Just call me Gabby. I'm looking for the owner of these berries that I found strung along around the pond. Aren't they yours? asked Bouncer. To be truthful, they don't belong to me, and I was just looking for the owner who must have lost them. Whew, whispered Bouncer. She sure can talk a lot. But at least she tells the truth, answered Bibby. Well, replied Bibby to Gabby, those are not our berries because we have our berries right here in my pocket. With that, Bibby reached his hand into his pocket for a berry, and his hand went in one side and right out the other through a hole in his pocket. Our berries! They're gone! cried Bibby in dismay. Why, I bet these berries I found belong to you, and now I can return these berries to you, and I know I told the truth just like that special child showed me because... Both Bibby and Bouncer interrupted Gabby at the same time. You mean you saw a, you know a special child too? Of course I know a special child. Why, this child tells the truth no matter what, just like me. And Bouncer interrupted again and explained that he was looking for a special child who always smiled. And Bibby was looking for a special child who always shared. Bibby excitedly asked Gabby if she would like to join them and look for the special child who always told the truth. 
Oh, yes, yes. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could find all three special children? They had not gone far when they saw a small farmhouse. So they started across the meadow in search of the special child. All of a sudden, Gabby stumbled on a big rock and tumbled down, landing right on her beautiful yellow beak. Big tears came to her eyes as she sat on the ground holding her beak. Are you terribly hurt? asked Bouncer and Bibby together. Truthfully, I am, moaned Gabby. Bouncer and Bibby looked at each other, not knowing how to help her. Just then, a small white lamb with a yellow bow around her neck stepped out from a clump of tall grass. She stood looking thoughtfully at Gabby, then whispered gently, You'll feel much better when your tears are dry. My wool is as soft as cotton. Let me wipe your tears away. My name is Lucy, the kind-hearted lamb. That is the nickname my owner gave me because I always show love and I'm kind. I learned that from the special child who lives here. Gabby laughed out loud. Bouncer is looking for a special child who always smiles. Bibby is looking for a special child who always shares. And I'm looking for the special child who always tells the truth. And you have a special child living right here who is kind and loving. Maybe we can meet your special child. Bouncer Bibby and Gabby were excited to meet Lucy's special child, so they followed Lucy across the meadow toward the house. They had just about reached the front gate when suddenly the door flew open, and like a ray of sunshine, a child came running toward them. That's my special child! All four friends exclaimed, pointing at the child that had run to meet them. Your special child, they all echoed at once. The four friends stared at each other and then started laughing. We were all looking for the very same special child and didn't even know it, laughed Bouncer. The special child who is always happy, who always tells the truth, who always shares, and who is always loving and kind is... <laughs> 